Hi everyone, Rob here at Power Learning Solutions again, and we're continuing our look at how to set up your own courses using the Canvas Learning Management System. And the next step, now that we have already set up our shell and created some content pages and embedded some interactive content, we've also created some uh, assignments for our students. Our next step is to actually get these things organized in what we call modules using Canvas. So I'm going to click on the modules area here on my left side navigation bar and I'm going to set up some basic modules for this course. So you'll see that right now I don't actually have any modules created. So I'm going to create a module. Now I usually start things off by creating a module called Getting Started. And this is where I put things like my course outline, my welcome video for students, things like that, uh, that aren't part of the normal instructional material, but they are useful resources that my students are going to need to know. So I'm going to click on Add Module, and I'm going to call it Getting Started. Now I can pick this Lock until option as well and using that option I can actually pre-configure a date when I want this module to unlock so if you have weekly modules and you don't want your students to access them until the start of that week you can use that option to configure that so I'm going to add this module here I never lock the getting started module I want my students to see that to begin with and uh, I'm going to hit publish on the module because otherwise students will not see it even if there's nothing in there and I'm going to add a content page to this module and I can add any existing content page or I can create a new one in this case I'm going to add an existing page and I'm going to add the uh, course home page here as a placeholder in this case Now I'm going to create another module in this and I'll call this uh, Unit 1 as an example. So I'm going to create Unit 1. I'm not going to set a date when I will lock this until, but I will add a prerequisite in this case. I want uh, everyone to complete the uh, Getting Started module before they look at Module 1. So getting started is a prerequisite and I have this module in here uh, again I'm going to hit publish on this otherwise no one is going to see that content I can add a content page to this module the same way that I previously did so in this case adding web-based elements I'll add that content page I can also add uh, an assignment. I created uh, a couple of assignments uh, in a previous video. So again, I'm going to hit my plus sign here now, and I'm going to add an assignment instead of a content page. So in this case, I'm going to add the final project proposal to, uh, to Unit 1. So there's a couple of different ways that you can add elements there. I'm going to go back up to my Getting Started module, actually, and I'm going to add in a, uh, a nice little um, external web page that I have. It is a blog post that I previously created that uh, gives students some tips on how to uh, use their time wisely with their reading. Optimizing your time, I have this URL for it. So I am going to uh, save this URL. I'm going to come back into Canvas, hit my plus sign. In this case, instead of uh, an internal thing, I'm going to hit external URL. Put in the URL that I want. Give it a name. and I can click on load this in a new tab 
I like to hit load in a new tab anytime that I'm adding something to my course that is outside of the learning management system. That way it will open up a new tab. Students can view that content, but they won't lose their place in the course. They can just go back to the previous tab and get back there. And I'll hit publish on this link. So those are uh, a couple of different ways that you can add elements here into your modules. You can rearrange these modules by dragging and dropping them. You can rearrange your content pages by dragging and dropping them. I can move stuff between my modules, uh, change stuff around in any order that I want. I can publish unpublished pages. The key here is that uh, you make sure that there's a green check mark by anything you want your students to actually see. Even if I have green check marks by my sample pilot module page and my ISD project proposal page here, but I have this module turned off, students are not going to see these pages. So make sure that you have those check marks there.